Narto637, viewer comments. Alright, first off the bat, I was prompted to upgrade my YouTube account to Google+. And as we all know, when things change, sometimes they create problems. So if there's any problems, please, uh, with my videos or anything, of course, if you don't get them, it may be a little difficult. If there's any issues, please please tell me if they are. Also, I'm kind of interested what you're seeing now. I think you're going to see my new icon. I was asked by Ambulance, hey Rampage, what's the picture you're using as your avatar for your YouTube? I've seen it a lot, but I don't know what it means. Um, it, it's really just a picture of me on a platform on the SkyTrain in Bangkok, Thailand near their war memorial. It's, uh, it's as an icon, <clears throat> not so great and you can't really see that it's too small that's what it was not really a big deal the new icon I'm using is the five-pointed five-color Drew star uh, I'm not really making a statement or anything um, over the past 30 or so years I've had a lot of people a lot of people in different parts of the world tell me that I both look and sound Drews and I've had trust me a lot of encounters with a whole lot of people so I really like the star, and I think it's pretty cool. So I'm not making uh, I'm not making any big statements on any of my icons. Moving on past that. Okay, now I think the only person that didn't think that Obito was our final villain in Naruto was N.W. Order for Life. Oh, wait a minute. No, he was the loudest person. That's right. Oh, as a matter of fact, yes, he was. He, he absolutely was the most intense person. So NW order for life. Now, starting off, goes yes, 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 yes. Kishi heard my cries. Obito is our final villain. As it was always meant to be, Obito has surpassed the master and let Hashirama and the other cages, including Tsunade and the present Kages, deal with Madara and eliminate him like the fodder that he is. Obito's plans have come to fruition. Just like Naruto, he never gives up. Now let's enjoy a fight, a great fight against a twisted man slash beast, and then a wonderful redemption that only Naruto can bring. Obito for life. All right. Hey, when you're right, you're right. But uh, I, I, I mean, I could feel your frustration and pain last week for this. So I, I'm sure that there's probably a lot more yeses you could put on there. So congratulations. I'm glad you're feeling a lot better. You weren't the only one, but like I say, from my recollection, you were definitely the most intense about it. And congratulations once again. This is what viewer comments is about. Let's have fun with it. Absolutely. Mr. Marcus. Also, here we are. Well, like I told you, Steve. Something wasn't right with Obito. Knew there was no way in hell Kakashi would have beat him. Obito gave Minato a hard time, but the biggest question I have for my Naruto fan, what is Madara's goal now, being that Obito spoiled his plans now? And I love when my predictions come true. Don't we all? Congratulations to you also. The twist to this war has come full circle. Have a great 4th of July, my brothers and sisters, and you too, Steve. LOL. Hey, and right back at you to everybody. Awesome. Um, <laughs> a lot of Obito, Obito. But the thing is, and I want everybody to remember this, enjoy this moment. Okay? Because you never know what Kishi's going to do. You know? And so that's what it looks like right now. There's a strong possibility Obito... Which does make sense, as, as has been laid out by everybody, including yourself. So, we will see. All right, continuing on. Great job, everybody. NW Order for Life. Minato revealed that his mark never disappears. That means that once you're tagged, you're dead. There is no escape from Minato for the rest of your life. Think of how many slaves he could make. I think some people might be confused as to why Minato was supposed to see Obito when he slashed him. But that's because Minato tagged Madara. He didn't know he actually tagged Obito. Minato favoring Obito over Kakashi makes so much sense. Obito was Minato's Naruto. Kakashi was his Sasuke. 
Well, I think I think I mentioned this in my review is my uh, I'm pretty sure I did that that my idea um, my feeling from this from, from from actually from this chapter from watching the interaction was that Obito's idea was or Minato's idea was Obito would become Okage and Kakashi would become the good Danzo who would do the, all the under underhanded dirty work but wouldn't be evil like Danzo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the video. Alright, really do appreciate uh, your comments and we're going to go right on through here. Spidey Caveman Obito has only moments left before he dies just like Nagato. He may pull off some jitsu but that's it game over for him. Now, him being able to contain the Juby, even with the Zetsus, I, I mean, how much Zetsu is, I, mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of confused, is, is he just, is it just Dark Zetsu, is that going to, I don't know, I, I, has he been reborn, I don't know if he's going to be able to handle this thing, I, I personally kind of wonder, that's, that's another possibility here too, we'll, we'll definitely have to see, NW Order for Life, again, something else to discuss is how Naruto was, so, appreciate your comments by the way, Naruto was so perceptive to be Abito's threat. Could this be a result of sensing hatred in KCM? Or maybe it was because Naruto is just very cautious about Obito, excuse me, since he fought him so much. I, to be honest, there's a lot of this in there. I'm not sure what, um, sometimes I'm not sure what Naruto's responding to because he's between Obito and what's going on with Sasuke and all these other characters in here. That's a lot of uh, crazy emotions going on, so I'm, I'm kind of actually confused on that myself. No, I'm not, not much help on that. I right, appreciate your comments. Uh, Grand Fiction, I give up. Okay, I'm officially just going along for the ride now. <laughs> I felt Kishi could have made more intelligent choices for the sake of the manga, but decided not to. As a result from here on it, I'm just sitting back and, and watching. I swear to you, the comment, the Grand Fiction that you're making now for Naruto would fit for me <laughs> with Fairy Tale talking about Hero and what's going on with it. Just at this very moment, your comment, you know, if I made it about Fairy Tale would be right on the. I'm just like, okay, I don't even know what's going on. But anyway, appreciate your comment. Okay. Ah, here, here's this is pretty cool. Mexican Wookiee. Anybody else realize the Leaf Village has the worst villains ever born and the most beast heroes ever they do seem to be in extremes konoha the village where your dreams come true lol good or evil dreams that sounds about right appreciate your comment okay d from dub love the fact that minato sliced obito yeah he doesn't hesitate does he he, he never did he as much as he was as much as he was a kind of minato was a sensitive kind of he is as soon as something was enemy he he just he just dealt with it. Of course, he was, you know, he was brought up in the war, so he cut him first, and then he wonders why and starts asking questions, unlike Kakashi. Minato's face, when he realized it, is priceless, though. I hope the next chapter won't be, well, well I have to say, I was, I really was kind of, it, it, it fit, it was okay, but I, I, I could have kind of I don't know. I guess a lot of people are okay with it. I'm okay with the way. I, I could have used a little more dialogue there with Obito. I was expecting actually quite a bit more, but that's what we got. I hope next chapter won't be a boring nojitsu chapter with Minato and Obito discussing about how bad the world is. That could definitely happen. Minato is a smart enough. Maybe he won't ask anything. He got the Obito equals equal formula, and that's all he needed to know. If Obito dares to throw a because of Ren Sensei to Minato, I'll quit this manga. <laughs> when when I first read your comment before I'm actually doing the video, I kind of flew through it, and the way I read it was that if Obito dares to throw it because of Ren Sensei, that Minato will quit this manga, <laughs> which was actually even funnier than what you actually wrote. And don't quit the manga, man. Don't don't quit it. All right, appreciate <laughs> appreciate your comments. Okay, NW Order for Life, a few more comments here. 
Sorry posted that previous comment too fast. I wanted to add that Naruto pretty much saved Sasuke from Naruto's. Hey, com comment away, everybody. That's what I say. As long as people have something to say, to contribute, keep making comments. If, it, if, it, if it's negative, spiteful, hurtful, whatever, just uh, keep it to yourself. All right, and uh, see Sasuke Minato's lies with his chakra hands. Well, Minato is already dead, lol. Or at or very least, he saved Sasuke from getting hurt pretty badly. Nice maturity and leadership skills shown by Naruto in this art, just like others shown in tropes. The main character becomes very smart on the battlefield, even though they're dumb as a brick with everything else. I like that. That's a pretty good observation. Example, Naruto didn't know Kurenai was pregnant. All right, and that would be awesome. Obito, I, I'm, I think you're responding to, to somebody else here. Yes, you are. Let me read this. Okay, let me read your Javi Soccer's comments and then this one. Okay, I always knew Obito had a last countermeasure against Madara. The dude was a genius, a master manipulator. He tricked some of the most powerful ninja including Itachi. I see Obito versus Madara fight coming up. There Obito will showcase his new power and beat Madara for good and after all that he will fight against the Alliance. I wonder if, okay, and then I'll, I'll do this. Okay, and NW Order for Life will go. That would be awesome. Obito and Madara are like the Sith. Loosely, the apprentice needs to kill the master and become the new Dark Lord. Though right now I'm expecting Obito to fight Naruto and Sasuke and Minato while every everyone else fights Madara. But hey, maybe Obito can fight everyone at once, at least until Sunati and Akage's arrive and deal with Madara alongside Hashirama. This is a golden opportunity to reunite Sunati with her grandfather. Maybe Gar will handle Madara's ceiling. Uh, yeah, well, it'll be kind of interesting. I think it will be more humorous. I'm suspecting that the interaction between Hashirama and his granddaughter will actually be pretty pretty funny. So, let's see. Um, there's a few, I, I like the Sith Lord thing. That was very good. Appreciate I like that. And there was something else in here I wanted to say. Oh, um, oh the, the fight with Madara... I think Hashirama alone can. I, you've got two Edos. Somebody has to get sealed, but I'm pretty sure that he's going to. E even a souped-up Madara is not going to be able to deal with, with a even a, 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 a I guess a almost full-strength Hashirama. It's just I don't see think it's going to happen. I think. Like I think Madara could be out of here. He could now. Let's remember he can just dismiss himself. He's basically. Taken, oh, he's basically controlling himself. Okay, that's what he did with the whole deal. So he could literally just go, all right, out of here. This is boring. Okay, or he may say, wow, okay, you know, maybe I'll just hang out. But I don't. But see, the problem with that is if he makes that choice, which he could, because he doesn't want to be bored. He's like, well, I'll do this as opposed to being bored. Is who's going to trust this guy? I, I always mentioned that in my video. They're not going to, because they know the second that anything happens, he's going to. So, and I think even Hashirama has finally, <laughs> while dead, I, I think the guy finally sees this guy for what he is, hopefully. But that would be another thing, too, if he gets duped by him again. That would be, wow. That would be pretty, I don't even want to go there. All right, <laughs> moving on. Appreciate the comments. <clears throat> and we'll see some comments from KH Mixer X. I'd like to gloat. <laughs> By saying, that's a great way to st That pretty much t gives you the tone right there. Okay, I'd like to gloat by saying that I was right about Obito. Still having an ace in his hand. But sadly for me, I'm not the only one who predicted that. That's that's pretty cool. You're, a few people definitely did. You, can, you, can't, you can't count that dude out. Say what you want about his character, but he's still probably one of, if not the smartest villain in the series. You don't get to where he's at now by being a moron. You know how they say actions speak louder than words? Yeah, Obito is prime example of that. 
The baffling thing about this chapter, though, was Madara's behavior. It seems to be increasingly more like, as a type goes on, that he only came back so that he could unite the ninja world through his villainous deeds. Think about it. He hasn't once shown any interest in anything other than fighting Hashirama. He's also never been upset about any of the plans he's had go gone wrong. It's like he knows that his very presence is enough to make everyone lose their shit and fight together. Okay, well, he wasn't brought back. This isn't the way he planned on getting brought back, is it? In, in Edo form, okay? And he definitely wanted his body back. Okay. And it, it, he wanted his body back. It looks like he wanted to, to, um, to become the Jin Shiriki. Uh, now, to, I think he would have been happy just to control it, okay? But considering it takes two people, that's, a, that's always problematic with evil characters because they tend to backstab each other. So he would have to become the Jin Shiriki in, in, in his reincarnated form. I think that's his plan. But you have to think about that. He's like, this isn't really the body that I wanted. And uh, evidently, Obito's now the Jin Shiriki, so that job is gone. And I'm still here in this creme Edo, fo Edo form, which is, uh, while powerful, not really alive. So, that's why I pretty much said in my video, he may just dismiss himself and say, well, to hell with the whole, the whole thing. Um, but, I mean, what is, what is his, you say, what is his plan? What, what is his possibilities? Now, it is possible that there is still some backups because Madara is a genius. So, this, he could call in some other things or what have you. So, as much as, as Obito had some card, definitely a full deck up his sleeve, Madara could also. And that's another reason this is so interesting. There's still a lot of time, even if it's less than a year before Naruto's over. There's just so much time. There's so many possibilities that could happen. This is so much freaking fun. So right now, all the Obito people are running high. The Obito is the final villain. This is, you're running high, and you may keep that high all the way through the series. Or not, because this is Kishimoto's manga. So we will see. All right, and we continue on. Uh-oh. Okay, well, here we go. KH Mixer X goes, I'm calling right now, Madara isn't a villain. So he's just a narcissist. All right, well, that, that's that, we could debate that. But anyway, you're calling it, so there you are. Okay, KH Mixer. All right, and let's see. Armin Gregorian. If Madara became the Jin Shiriki, he would just kill everyone. But now Obito became Jin Shiriki, and he will do the ultimate Sukiyami. You know what's interesting? And this was something, actually this would probably be a whole different video. But um, since we have an imperfect Jubi, and we have someone that probably physically isn't going to be able to last, I mean, a long time holding all that power... Um, if he goes, at, what, what's an imperfect Sukiyami going to be like? I mean, what, what kind of interesting things could happen? All of a sudden, these characters are basically, this actually should be a, a video in and of itself. They're actually tempted to, to like the Matrix, blue pill, red pill stuff. They're tempted to go ahead and, and, and to accept this, this world. You know, instead of just having it thrown in there, they can buy into it. You know, instead of having to fight each other, they can just kind of live in this little dream world where, you know, Kakashi's dad is still alive. And in his little dream world, kind of like Obito said, he can have Obito and his buddy and Ren and all the other people because he's just living in this little fantasy. They're all living in their own little fantasy world, right? But they're not killing each other. They're just kind of living in their own little fantasy world. So the whole temptation thing, that would be extraordinarily... Extraordinarily interesting. Hmm. I like that. Okay, and let's see. Appreciate, really do appreciate the comment. It got me thinking there. Okay, and a couple of comments from Young Bassa 813 
As stated by the first Hokage in chapter 626, Shinobi are those who endure to achieve their goals. But depending on what they choose as their goal, they change. A lot of people have stated that they can't understand why Abito would start a war over a girl. His singular goal since Ren has died was to live in peace with her in the infinite Tsukiyami, period. And he was willing to forsake everything else to pursue his ultimate goal. This will not, this will not give up is simply another parallel to Naruto's. Oh, there's another thing. I'll read your last comment. I'm gonna... Okay, Young Bass 831. Uh, I really enjoy your reviews. Keep up the good work. I appreciate the kind words. I always do. Thank you very much. One of the things that I didn't mention in my review video that I really wanted to was <laughs> it was so awesome. Um, the whole thing, right at the end, they think Obito's dead. And who does he really talk to? Sasuke. Now I saw two different translations of this. And basically, he called Sasuke a fellow traitor. So, I mean like a monster that's supposed to be dead, he gets up and, ah, oh, Sasuke, my fellow traitor, my fellow Judas. I think I've seen a few different translations of it. Traitor sounds like the, you know, the most perfect one. But, uh, that's pretty crazy, calling Sasuke out right there as he as he's alive when they didn't think he was, and he's uh, yeah, that was awesome. But anyway, uh, what an awesome chapter! And like I said, I really do appreciate the kind words. Okay, let's see. Janice Sorf was a little disappointed with Nato's reaction. A lot of people would disagree with me, but it was it just didn't make sense. If my beloved student who I thought was dead turned out to be alive and was the one who killed me in my life, I would want to know why the hell he did it. Well, the next chapter may come to that. I would want an explanation, but Nato has just stabbed him. Kind of weird. I really loved the flashbacks. Minato was always loving and had a great personality. Seems like Kakashi is chilling in the dimension, lol. We got a couple of votes, but I didn't, I didn't see any votes whenever I was looking as far as for comments. Of course, I'm doing this really early. Usually the earliest I do this is Friday, although this is probably going to be posted. This is late Thursday. But anyway, you, you've got some uh, thumbs up on your comments, so definitely people agreeing with you. And uh, yeah, like I, like I mentioned before, I kind of was wanting a little more than that, but we may still get it. Okay, I appreciate your comment. Denasius and Slim. I think that Obito used Izanagi to escape because since the Black Zetsu is taking over half of his body, body, his Sharingan has gone, and then he used his Renegon to control the Ten Tails. Um, all the eye techniques and power that Abito has, even though he hasn't been using them, doesn't mean he doesn't have at least some function of it, so uh, yeah, yeah, that definitely could be a possibility. Alright, really do appreciate your comment, and we'll see if I can answer your question. And I have a few comments from Conley Bob Nine. Before I do that, I'm gonna drink more water. All right. All right. As for Madara, I kind of like the idea of him not being killed and just getting sealed away in the end. It leaves the possibility of him coming back long after the series is ended. XD. One thing that, that could happen is Obito will touch Badar and send him to the other dimension, leaving him there forever. He might have to, actually, because Madara could just start raining meteors on him. Maybe Ochamaru will find... I think if he's the Jinchuriki of the Jubi... I mean, from my understanding, that isn't just... Even though it's an imperfect Jubi... That isn't just the combined power of the parts. The whole is more powerful than that. That's my understanding. The Jubi is like I, this. It, like I say, just isn't nine-tailed beast. It's the Jubi it combined. It's you know, much more powerful than them all combined. Um, because it's a singular entity. 
So anyway, that's just my understanding. We'll, we'll see. Okay, and then leaving him there. Da, da. And sealing him. Okay, and maybe Ochiru will find Itachi's sword. <laughs> the same one that got him. For sealing and give it to Sasuke or someone. A lot of possibilities. Well, it's already been mentioned that, that Sasuke may have some kind of ability like that. So with his Sasuke. So we'll see. Because Itachi may have given him that ability. I mean, he, he could go, well, he has it, and then here's a flashback. Oh, yeah, by the way, here you go. So, Kali Bob 9 continues. Now that Obito is the Jinchuriki, he should even want to fight them right now. He wanted to set the Moon's Eye plan in motion the moment the Jubi appeared and chastised Madara for not doing so. So, assuming that the Moon is already up, he should be trying. Not already, in any case, it looks like Minato was right in his prediction back at Konoha. <coughs> Excuse me. If Obito isn't stopped, he'll become a threat even bigger than the Nine Tails, which he literally just did. Oh, yeah, he's way past that. Obito, at this point, has never brought about the same sense of danger to me that Madara has brought since his inception. He just now got his butt handed in by Kakashi. That wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have happened to Madara. No, it wouldn't. Ito powers or no. He got his butt handed to him by Minato. I mean, that's been laid out uh, so many times. Hashirama, Madara, everyone else. So I think we got that one. He only survived Conan because of his Inagi. If Kishi made Obito the Jinchuriki, it's only because it had been Madara, nobody would have been able to stop him. Word! And that's been mentioned also too. Madara, would, it would have, that would have been game over. Which uh, would have to agree. That would have been game, set, match. Okay, uh, Connie Bondara continues. Last comment here. Sorry, I guess I would have expected something like this, but really, I, okay. You're kind of speaking for a lot of people here. I want to say something before you make your Obito, wanting Obito to die, full comment, is I, want, I wanted Obito to die. <laughs> I wanted him gone. I, I just wanted this dude gone, the memory, the whole Tobi Obito thing washed away, this character, an, annihilated, evaporated, just gone completely, never to come back. But... The other thing is, see, no, like a lot of times you're like, well, you get what you want and what you hate. Okay, I want this, but if Obito's the final villain, which makes this character a lot more interesting, okay, and, and a lot smarter than I thought he was, a lot more capable, and definitely a lot more powerful now than I thought he was ever going to be, then I can still live with that. I can always live with characters that get extremely more interesting. Okay? My preference was in, for him to die, but I, I can live with either way. Okay? My sec, the second option here, which I didn't know was an option, okay, until this very chapter, I can actually, I, I, my hat's off to Kishimoto. I want to see where this thing's going to go, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Okay. I can respect him for, this continues on from uh, Conley Bob Nine. I can respect him for at least finding a way out of Madara's control and setting his own plan in motion, but I stand by what I said last week in that he's such a joke character. So having him become the true main villain, which seems very possible now, doesn't seem like a very good idea. Kishi better have him pull some good crap now in order for this to work. Well, he's got the power. It, I mean, literally... But like I say, this is an incomplete G. There's a lot of possibilities. Kishimoto is good for that, having uh, problems already kind of embedded in the things that are going on, so he can, you know, things can kind of fall, start falling apart if they need to, to make the story interesting. All right, always appreciate your comments. And let's see, <clears throat> Justin Soda. It's not. I think this is okay. Let me read Chaz Malakian first, and Justin Soda's okay, because that's a response. Chaz Malakian. Nice chapter. An unexpected ending. The ones I prefer reading. The action was great and then story-wise, it surprised everyone. The contradiction in this chapter for me is about the Ido Kages. Being themselves zombies, aren't they supposed to have unlimited chakra and stamina? Alright, I'm going to try to 
at least my understanding, this may not be a good answer, but my understanding, of course, is uh, you're right about, okay, they can be destroyed, but they reform. So they can keep reforming. We've already seen that. So it's not really that they can't be destroyed. They just keep reforming. Okay, the chakra. From everything that's been said, they can be brought back at different levels, like they're full level, they were, okay, we've seen that, or lesser. Or, as we've seen with Madara, they can actually be enhanced so that they are actually more powerful than they were, okay? But it looks like, uh, I guess, like water going out of a, um, a garden hose is the best example I can describe really quick, is um, the, the size of the hose is going to depend on the amount of power that they can use at one time. So that's my understanding of this. So somebody that had a certain level of chakra, sure they can continue loosely use this. They're not going to get exhausted, but they can't just use a gig you know, more chakra than they, they're possible. If that makes any sense, that's my understanding of it. And, and you continue on. Okay, uh, what's up with this? Is my limit on clones because I'm low on chakra? That's what I'm saying. And uh, only two ninjas could defeat Toby easily now. It's Itachi with his sealing sword or Heden with his technique. Good review and keep up the good work. I always appreciate it. Uh, your your kind words and your comments. Always awesome. Thanks, Chaz Meliki. All right. But anyway, that's my understanding of the way it works, if that makes any sense. Okay. <laughs> okay, Hammond Willa. Abito gave his Sharingan to Kakashi through the chakra rod. I don't think so. All right. And let's see. Um, I, I just I don't think so. We'll see. Uh, I've been wrong before, but I don't think so. Okay, D10 J31. Abito, please enlighten us on. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. On your plan again? LOL, you confused me yet again. I think that you're. Yeah, this is a comment from. On another comment. I like the fact that you keep us in suspense, but where does it go from here? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, and then Hammond will again. Appreciate your comments, brother. Hammond, <laughs> always do. DT Ninja 31. Okay, Hammond will again. Next time we see Kakashi, he will have two Mangekios, and Obito will be controlled by the Black Zets. It will have been controlled by the Black Zetsu all this time. Appreciate your comments, and let's see, there's a few comments from DT Ninja 831. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Itachi's Tuksuyuku, Tuk, Tatsuku, Tatsuka blade, that might be close, seems like the only option to stop Obito now. But he's gone, and it's too bad Sasuke didn't inherit it from receiving his eyes. Maybe. He did actually. I don't. I don't know. Maybe this is where just because he hasn't used it yet doesn't mean he doesn't have it. Maybe this is where the sage will appear and reveal the truth of his existence, as well as his powers. Obito will have a moment of choice, either peace or destruction. Great review as always, and keep up the good work. Appreciate the good work. And as I've mentioned before, our chapter was it 572 since since it's been brought up, the prophecy, which is happen I guess now now I, there but evidently for it to be completed then I guess um, they really I guess that the, the nine tails really everything I guess it's all needs to get and that may have just happened right now um, the nine tails is actually completely you know in there may not be a portion of it left outside it's Kind of interesting. I like to find that out. It's another one of those little interesting things. Okay, and DT Ninja Eight Three One continues. The past version visions with Obito and Minato were brilliant. I couldn't agree with you more. Loved how Kishimoto connected those past elements to the present, but Minato's final blow was so quick, and Kakashi just chilling in the dimension. Maybe that. And of course, what's? How's he going to get back? Maybe he'll bring himself back. I don't know. Maybe that chakra rod will be significant later. The flat, maybe that's some that maybe it's a way for Kakashi to get back out of there. Maybe he did. I don't know. But anyway, um, but the chakra rod again. But uh, the Flash used the 
Harrison Mark to reach him and put an end to Madar's violent torture, but he failed to convince him. He's too far gone mentally. Great chapter, full of action. Yes, it was. Kishimoto really keeps us in suspension. We all thought Madara was going to succeed. Then, bam, Obito emerges as the freaking Jinchiriki. That was awesome. Wow, such a great ending. I feel that Madara may be acknowledging Obito. Maybe he's not a pawn after all. I have to say, you know, sometimes you read something or see something, and it's good. Maybe even really good, maybe even great, okay, when you see it. But over time, as you think about it, or was, as we discussed it, that ending was freaking awesome. And the more I think about it, and the more we I get feedback from it, we kind of discuss the implications of it, the more freaking awesome it is. So, wow. Yeah, because some things kind of lose, uh, you know, they, they lose their oomph, their power over time. But this is just, this is, that was... Wow. Okay. Continuing on. I always appreciate your comments. Okay. Um, Javi Soccer 13. Did you notice how since the beginning of the chapter, Naruto knew something was up? He told Sasuke to stop and was worried upset when he and Minato were charging at Obito. I guess the QB Chakra mode read Obito's intentions before and it could be but like I've already mentioned there's so much stuff going on I don't know he's reading all his emotions I don't know what he's responding to okay DT and J31 happy 4th of July everyone yes indeed once again happy 4th of July to everyone okay is no good I'm confused on Madara's Ren Tensei I think Minar Minato is the only one who can beat Obito since he can reach him with his seal. I'm looking forward for Naruto. What's his role going to be now? Who, Who's he going to fight against? After this war is done, I'm looking forward to see Sasuke back to the village. I don't We've been in this war for how long now? <laughs> I, this war could just keep, this could be, this could go to the very end. I'm actually curious at the end if it's just going to be here it's the end or I'm kind of wondering how nostalgic Kishimoto is is it going to be the end and then there's going to be a few chapters to kind of you know wrap up a few things I if I had to guess I would say that considering that uh, uh, Kishimoto is a kind of an impatient guy I'm so I'm thinking we're not going to get a lot of closure at the end I think we're, we may get a fantastic ending, which I, I feel pretty good about, but uh, I don't think he's just going to, you know, to answer my own question, I don't think we're going to get much there at the end as far as closure. Okay, Owen, oh, very short, uh, appreciate your comments, a uh, very short but uh, very good question. Uh, Killer B11 is, where the hell is B? That's a really, he got kind of like, remember he only, he was getting like his shot to do something and then sideline. So is that just Kishimoto? See, here's the problem. Kishimoto does drop characters. I mean, I don't mean eliminate, but he just kind of, well, here, and, and then he just does that. So it could just, this could just be Killer B getting neglected by Kishimoto. It could be that simple, or it could be part of a bigger plan that's going on in the background. So we will see. It's a very good question. Right there. Short, but good. Okay, okay, and then Armin Gregorian. He either used Izanami or Izanami because when Minato killed him, he didn't have on, had his Shuringen. Appreciate your comments. And, well, he could use all those abilities. Okay, reacted 1991. I don't think a Beetle will be able to control the Tintails just by the fact that he's an emotional wreck. <laughs> I think this is an extremely good point. I think that he'll lose his self and go mad because that was a part of the whole thing, right? Is get, being able to defeat your inner demons. Otherwise, you're just feeding the tail beast the hate and anger, right? And you can't be partners with him. So yeah, he's he's a complete disaster <laughs> emotionally. This is an extremely. I have to say it's another one. This is an extremely 
uh, good point you're making here, Reacted. I kind of, this is actually I wish I would have read your comment much earlier on in here, but uh, but anyway, anybody who didn't continue to listen to this doesn't deserve to hear this comment that you just made. Brilliant observation. So yes, <laughs> he's an emotional wreck. All right, and we just have a few more comments left. Appreciate the comment, by the way. Okay, two more from uh, K A. KH Mixer X and then one from uh, Bro Army 1000. Okay. KH Mixer X. Even though I understand where people are coming from with their dislike of Obito, so we're both starting and we're, we're starting and finishing pretty much about Obito, but then again, most of the middle was about him anyhow, too. So, okay. I still find him a great villain. He's calculating, manipulative, deceptive, and, and never caught with his pants down. This chapter is a prime example of that. Sure. He's had his annoying moments since the mask came off, but given the guy, given the life the guy has lived as cards as he was dealt, it's a wonder he's kept his crap together for as long as he has. And anybody can deny how epic he was when he still had the mask on. Oh, there was definitely some moments he was pretty epic and hilarious. Toby was the funniest thing. That the funny Toby was the, the, definitely he was. Fu you could take all the other funny things that happened in Naruto, combine them together, and they're not as freaking funny as, as Goofy Toby was. That guy was a freaking riot. Oh my gosh. Oh man, man, that guy was funny. But anyway, <laughs> I don't spend too much time on that. I had a clip that had a lot of Toby funny moments in it. And I don't know where it went. But anybody wants to search, find it. Oh, my God. It's so funny. Cage Mixer X. It's been so long ago, I think a lot of us have forgotten how just funny funny Toby was. And let's not forget that all the annoying prodding he's directed at Naruto since the mask came off almost paid off. If Hinata hadn't been there to slap him back in reality, this would have been a very different war right now. Okay, and as I mentioned before, I read the last comment from Bro Army One Thousand. Um, it would be interesting uh, if it is. It comes down to there's a period where people are tempted to go into their own matrix-like little pretend world. Okay, if that's what happened, all of a sudden these characters are, you know, hey, you can live this nice little life or a life of action or what have you in this little pretend world and kind of choose your own to slumber in that and not, you know, to fight back or whatever. That'll be interesting. Um, yeah, that'll be extremely interesting. But anyway, I appreciate your comments. And I'll, Bro Army 1000, a good twist to the series, a decent chapter. I don't know, it was a fantastic twist, but uh, good or fantastic or whatever, and a decent chapter. I was a, uh, I don't rate chapters. I simply don't see the, uh, um, Need or I don't see. I, I, it's not something that really gets called because basically we could sit here and spend um, five or ten minutes on how to rate the chapter, or we could just talk about it. And I would really prefer to talk about it. And speaking of, I've gone well over forty minutes on a single video, which I used to do all the time. I probably should break it down to twenty minutes or less, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep this one together. Uh, once again, I, I, I appreciate everyone's efforts. This is kind of kind of early, but actually it's coming out on Friday, which is which is cool. But this is being made uh, at the very very end of the Fourth of July here. So happy Fourth of July, or any ho ha holidays you have, or just uh, you know just be happy anyhow. <laughs> okay, anybody can be an anime fan. You can always subscribe. You can always unsubscribe. You can do anything you want to. Until next time, take care.